a Jimmy Rollins in an old Bowman design. I know who might like this one. Hello, Alex. Hey, this is Scott from Ranger Studios. How are you? Hey, listen, man, I was rummaging and I came across a Bowman Heritage Jimmy Rollins card and I thought of you. You interested? It is a pretty sweet card, easily worth um, $1,400. Well, you can't blame a guy for trying. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm looking and it's worth 100 bucks. Oh wait, that's not right. This price guide is in yen, I'm sorry. I'm sure that's like $80, right? No? Okay, how about I throw in a nice marker doodle of Rollins and Chase Utley? Cool. All right. Thanks, Alex. All right. Talk to you. Oh, no. What have I just done? I sold a marker doodle to Alex from Bowman 53. Now I really got to step up my video editing game. Hey, superstars. Welcome to the third episode of The Quest for My Holy Grail Card. I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my grail card a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Alex over at Bowman53 actually reached out to me requesting a marker doodle of Jimmy Rollins and Chase Utley shaking hands as they were known to do as a pre-game ritual before each game. I thought it was a really cool request and I'm thrilled to do this for him. Now Alex has some of the nicest polished sports card videos out there and he's a great visual storyteller and he's so proficient at it he doesn't need to make videos about megastars like Mantle, Aaron or Maze. He loves the stories about the guys you've never heard of or guys that don't get the hobby love like Jimmy and Chase here. These guys played 12 seasons together up the middle and were one of the best double play combinations in all of baseball. It was almost 1200 games together. That really is pretty wild. And all of that leads me to this video. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to step up my editing game in honor of Alex. I'm not necessarily making a video that looks like one of his, but he's inspired me to take my work here a step further today. I'm still meandering and pointless with my voiceover, but instead of just showing you the same sped up shot for three minutes like I normally do, I've tried to cut close to three hours of footage down to a few minutes in an interesting and appealing way. It's not exactly perfect by any means, and I don't really have any formal video editing training, but I had a lot of fun trying to figure it out. Speaking of meandering, I almost forgot my bad baseball joke for this episode, so... Jimmy didn't believe that Chase's dog could talk, so Chase asked his dog, What's on top of a house? Roof! The dog barked. Jimmy wasn't convinced, so Chase asked the dog, How does sandpaper feel? Rough! The dog said. Jimmy still wasn't convinced. Chase asked the dog, Okay, who was the greatest baseball player of all time? The dog said, Ruth! With that, Jimmy walked away, shaking his head in disbelief, and the dog turned to Chase and asked, Why did he leave? Is Jimmy a Hank Aaron fan? I don't know what kind of voice that was, so let's just listen to some fancy pants music.
there's the men of the hour. I've got to figure out a better way to get these beauty shots. Maybe not try to do it by hand, but like I said, this video is not perfect, but I do try to get better every time. Thanks again, Alex. This was a ton of fun and I'm honored that I could do this for you. We're getting a little closer every week to my grail card and to making the perfect video, but we still have a long way to go. Thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we will catch you next time. I think Jimmy really likes shortstops. Maybe Honus Wagner then. Hmm?